what is up victory gaming here and in this tutorial I will be showing you guys how to set up a live stream <coughs> from OBS to YouTube As you can see I'm on a different channel here this is you know I have mine pulled up and if we go I haven't done anything so this is like the real deal here there we go I have just made a channel Alright, so the first step we want to do is click over on this little pin right next to our name. Click on Channel Settings. That will take you here. Alright, so the next step is clicking on this Channel tab here. You want to click on Longer Videos. Make sure that is enabled. And then you will have to do this verification code here. So, you know, you can just put in your phone number there, and I will see you in a minute. Alright, guys, I am sorry. My recording software cut out. Uh, and by the way, like, OBS is really good. It never does that. It was my error. Uh, I actually, I left, and, because I had to go look for my phone for the verification of the, uh, longer videos. But, what we need to do next is click on Live Events. And it will show you, oh, that's not what it'll show you, but it'll show you a page, and basically, you have to read through, it's, it's a really, you have to, like, just read it, like, there's really no point in not reading it, unless you're that lazy, but you have to accept to their terms, and then that is that, and now you can click up here, in your video manager, you have a new tab, live events. So now that you have learned how to set up the live streaming capability on your YouTube channel, let's go over here to Video Manager, and uh, you can see here, now we can click Live Events. Once you are in the Live Events tab of your Video Manager, you can click Create New Live Event. Now I'm going to name this tutorial just because... Oh. <coughs> Just because I do do live streams quite often and I don't want people getting confused, obviously your description here, if you are using uh, music, make sure to put it in there. But it has to be the right music anyways. And then we can click Create Live Event. This will take us to the this page. <laughs> and we can get a custom thumbnail. So for this case, I'll just be using this random thumbnail here for my Volt White series. Now we can click our bitrate. Bitrate just depends on your internet. What I did, because I started out like 720 and then 1080, and it didn't work out. It's If it's not working, then you need a lower bitrate. But the thing is, once you've set the bitrate and you've started live streaming, you can't change it. So what I suggest doing is starting low, maybe 360, maybe 480. And then if you still have capabilities, go up to 720, 1080, whatever. But I my internet and um, computer like 480 that's a good range but now you can see we are here at the encoder this is where you need to bring OBS into the equation so let's just add a new uh, so I'm going to be using let's just do a monitor capture for this sake um, so let's name it tutorial and you can see uh, if you have multiple monitors obviously uh, you can set that stuff up but uh, now, if we just click on settings, you can see that we have this, and you can do live stream. You click, and normally it's a file output only, so you just click live stream, and then it kind of expands. You can see there's a bunch of these. There's Twitch, YouTube, Cyber Game, whatever that is, all of these different things. So we are just going to click on YouTube. Now, this key is what is right here. The stream name is the stream key. So what you're going to do is highlight all of this, control C, control V in here, and then you're going to click apply. And uh, also make sure all you've uh, gone through and set all of this stuff up. So, you know, audio, make sure it's on the uh, headset and whatever. If you want hockeys, that kind of thing. And then make sure you apply and then OK. Now what you are going to do is come back into YouTube and scroll up and click Live Control Room. Now, what you are going to do is, I don't know if this is going to mess up the video, but basically what you do is you click Start Streaming, 
and it didn't mess up the video, but start streaming, and that will now be sending uh, data to this. So if you refresh your page right here, you can see we have our, um, you know, our thumbnail here, and then this is what the preview. So right now you should, oh, in six minutes, but you will be able to see your screen in, as you, and then preview, this is what the public sees. So that would be like, you know, your fans, whatever. And then also you've got comments on the side, that kind of thing. But if you're going to be playing a game, I suggest just throwing this in mute. And, um, yeah, not worrying about it too much. But then you also can click preview. And, uh, it will prepare your stream, and it'll take just one minute. And I did mess it up, so don't play these before. So I clicked play on this. But don't do that, you actually have to, if you do click play, then you have to leave and come back in. So just click on one of these other tabs. And now you are here, um... You can click start streaming. Oh no! Now you have to click the tabs. It has to be in between preview and start streaming. It's it's kind of dumb, but now you can see the preview. So that's that's what I'm doing right now. And then the public, you can see the public. It hasn't started live streaming for them yet. But if we click live stream, start stream, whatever, you can see now we have a clock of how long we've been going. Two seconds, three seconds. And then this, will, there's about a minute delay. It really depends on what your settings are. I wouldn't mess with those if I were you. But you can see now it's kicking off the live stream. And what else you can do is come... Let me just pull up another tab. This is what I do, because I have my music open in one. Because I know my computer isn't that good. I just want um, the least amount of tabs open as possible. So what I do is I just uh, close out of this... Well, I'm going to leave it open for, for the tutorial's sake. I pull up my music here. And then I just let this play. While I'm watching this. So I watch comments here instead of here. It's a little easier that way for me. But it really just depends on uh, what you like. And now we're watching ourselves. That's kind of weird. But now that the stream is going. Let's say I'm done. I need a way to end it. So, that means I'm going to come and click Stop Streaming. Yes, right at two minutes. Oh, close enough. And then also, because your data is still being sent, you want to make sure you click Stop Streaming. Alright, sorry, that kind of ended the tutorial. Like, when I click Stop Streaming, it ended. But, um, you want to click Stop Streaming on your screen here. And I, I can't make it any bigger. Right here, um... So that's just going to make sure your stream is ended. Alright, so thank you for watching. I'm not really sure what my next tutorial is going to be about. If I have a next tutorial, I'm sure I will over time. But thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Will it take us out with the train? Oh! That was close. Oh, man. The barrel, why are you doing this to me? horsepower in a 3,000 pound car isn't that good um, also a uh, Grand National we will be using this as well star power let's go let's go I believe we 